Hey guys, it's Emily, and today I'm going to be doing part two about my Monster High doll collection. So today I'm going to be talking about all the dolls that I got ever since I've gotten back into Monster High again. So let's get started. So for Christmas 2020, I had gotten some new Monster High dolls, and one of them was Picture Day Operetta, and I got her new in box. So she came with all her accessories, and at the time, all the Monster High dolls that I had, like they had lost a bunch of stuff because I had like just got only gotten back into Monster High. For a while, Operetta was like my only Monster High doll that had an actual stance, and she is my favorite Operetta doll, and. If I didn't have her, she would definitely be one of my dream dolls. Then some other Monster High dolls that I also got for Christmas in 2020 was some of the Scarus City of Frights dolls. So I got Claudine Wolf Scarus and she came with all her accessories and I actually only asked for Claudine Wolf Scarus. But to my surprise, I also got Rochelle Goyle Scarus. And Jennifer Long Scarus as well. And I was so excited about also getting these two because I did not expect to get them as well. And this Jennifer doll is so cool. And this Rochelle is really cute too. I love this Claudine as well. And I put her on a stand that I got for uh, Christmas this year. And I also really like this Claudine Wolf doll too. I think she's like really cool. And I like her all her accessories. And her shoes. She's a material ghoul. <laughs> then for Valentine's Day last year, 2021, I got Holt Hyde Swim Class. And Holt Hyde is one of my favorite Monster High characters. So I was so excited to finally get a doll of him. And unfortunately, um, he came um, incomplete. But it's okay. I, don't, I can forgive him for that and like honestly I really like to play he's re a really fun doll to play with like I've made so many TikToks with him like it's been so fun and I've had him for over a year and I also really hope to get the first wave whole high doll too because he's pretty good as well and also like one of the best monster high dolls like ever and I really think he should have got more dolls like just two dolls like that's it like he like why wasn't he included in any of like the music related lines like that doesn't make sense to me like they didn't make like the only other doll of then first wave that they have of him is just the swim class doll like I think he should have gotten way more than that. And for Easter last year of 2021, I got Spectra Vondergeist Power Ghouls. And she is so cool. I love her so much. And, like, I love this look. Like, I love this makeup. Like, I want to cosplay as her so bad one day. I think there actually is a Halloween costume for her, so that's really cool. So, hopefully I can get my hands on it one day. And I actually wanted to get the Ghoul's Night Out Spectra for Easter last year, but honestly, I'm way more happy with her. I think she's really cool. In like the beginning of summer of 2021, I went to a yard sale and there was like this bucket full of Barbie dolls and some like Disney princess dolls. And I was trying to look for a Monster High doll, of course. And I found this Freaky Fusion Gulia Yelp doll. She's supposed to be inspired by Draculaura. And uh, this is what she looked like when I got her. Her hair was a little bit more messy, but I kind of fixed her a little bit. And she didn't really have many of her accessories, but I was so happy to get her. And she was only $2. Like, she, like so far, she is like probably my most least expensive mo doll in my whole collection. So that's really cool. A few days before school started in September of 2021, I got this Freaky Fusion Cleolite doll. Personally, she's my favorite out of the four fused ghouls. And, like, I just think she's really pretty. And for my birthday, I got the Frankie Stein and Jackson Jekyll Picnic Casket 2-pack. And I was so excited about getting them because I've wanted them for months. And I also really wanted to get a Jackson doll because he's also one of my favorite characters. And also wanted to get another Frankie, of course. And, like, they're, like, one of my favorite Monster High ships. Like, I love them together so much. And, um, unfortunately... I, they came incomplete and also Jackson had blue seepage which I got rid of. Yeah. 
Also, Frankie has two left hands. So, yeah. And also, um, when I got her, she came with Dracula's Dracula Locker shoes. So, I had to buy these shoes separately. And I really like them. Also, for my birthday, I got Abby Abominable Picture Day. And she also came new in box, just like my Picture Day operetta did. And she is my favorite Abby Abominable doll. And also, Abby Abominable is one of my favorite characters, so... I love her and I wanted her for like months <laughs> so I'm really happy I got her and also here's a picture of me when I got her, on my birthday when I got her and then a few weeks later I got my first collector and collector doll as well Greta Gremlin <laughs> and she is personally my favorite collector doll <laughs> I, I was so excited about getting her but the thing is okay so little story time so um, I was not able to get her on the Mattel Creations website because I heard it sold out. She sold out like crazy fast. And then my dad bought her from me like on eBay, I think, and surprised me with her. And I was like, and I just, at that point, I just thought I wasn't going to get her. Like, I, I like every time when I ask for something and I don't get it when I expect to, like for my birthday, Christmas, I'm just like, well... I guess I'm never gonna get it. Like, I just accept the fact that I'm not gonna get it. And then I get it, and I'm just like, oh my gosh! Ah! Like, like that was what it was like for Greta. For me. So, and I was so happy that I was able to get her. And I love her, and... And I hope maybe one day I can get one of the other Skelector dolls, like, Pennywise. But she's a little, uh, pricey. <laughs> Yeah, I don't really care f too much for Beetlejuice and the Shining Twins. They're kind of meh to me. I, I just don't think they're worth that much money, in my opinion. And I also like how they made her come with her little pet Gizmo. Like, he looks so cute. I love him. And um, I have seen the first Gremlins movie, but I've only seen, like, half of the second one. And, like, I just haven't gotten a chance to finish it because it's, like, kind of gross. So hopefully I do because I haven't even got to see Greta in the movie yet. And, like, I want to see, like, how she is and, like, how her voice sounds like. Because, like, I don't really know that much about her. Although, I, other than that, I heard that she, like, drank some potion and then she turned into, like, a girl gremlin. That's, like, pretty much all I know. So, that's pretty cool. And, like, she is so unique. Like, I heard she has, like, a new face mold. She's got these big ears. She comes with a lipstick. And she was also the first collector doll to come with a pet as well. Also, she has three fingers. So she's like really unique. So that's like one, another thing that I really love about her. For Christmas of 2021, I got a Heath Burns Home Ick doll. And he's also one of my favorite characters. So of course I wanted to get a doll of him. Also off topic, just a little bit for a second. This isn't completely related to dolls, but also for the same Christmas. I wanted to get some kind of clothing that was more like Frankie. Because like I love her. So I got this for Christmas and I also got these earrings, these blue skull earrings that look a lot like Frankie's first wave earrings. And I would say my favorite gift that I got for Christmas of 2021 is this Frankie Stein Freaky Fusion that also came with the Chamber set. And I was so excited about it. And to be honest, I mostly only cared for the Frankie doll herself. But like this set is like so cool. And here, actually, I'm, I want to show you guys. Like it's so cool. So, so you like press this button and her hair goes up. Like, it's crazy. Like, look at this. Like, it just goes off. How cool is that? <laughs> and then, like, when you're done pressing the button, you can, like, touch your hair. And it, like, it goes to your hand. Like, like this. You can, like, kind of pet it. Just fix it up a little if you need to. <laughs> Let me like show the doll as well too. See, this is her. And um, she didn't come with the belt that she has. So I used the um, Frank the belt that came with the deluxe Frankie fashion pack. And I just put it on her. She's so cool. 
And also this chamber set is really cool too. It's the back. Yeah. Yeah, I, I really like this set. Like, I think this has to be, like, one of the best, or if not the best, Monster High play set. Or at least, like, at least in my opinion. And you could hold it a bunch of different ways. Like, you could, like, hold it, like, this way, or this way, or this way. You could also even, like, kind of hold it here as well. Maybe you can do it like this, if you're more comfortable with that. You could even hold it like this too. Yeah, it's actually not really as heavy as it looks. Like you could hold it, you could hold this whole thing with just one hand. Like it's not that super heavy. Like it's not as heavy as it I probably looks, which I thought was pretty cool. Or you could, or if you could, like you, you could like carry it this way as well. It's like your baby. Oh, and I forgot, but five days before Christmas, I got the first wave Frankie Stein doll. And I wanted to get her, like, ever since I was a kid. But I never could because I got into Monster High a little bit later. And I got her second hand, so she didn't exactly come with all her accessories. But I'm just so happy to finally have her because she's, like, pretty expensive now, like, in box. Ooh! Which it really sucks. She had glue seepage, so I had to fix her hair and boil wash her as well. And her hair still isn't really all that straight. Like, I really tried my best. And I had to do her hair as well. Oh my gosh, we kind of have the same earrings, kind of. <laughs> and I did also get her dog Watson along with her. And um, I'm right now, I'm only missing her bag and her bracelet. So, and also, oh yeah, also her diary too, but I think I'm just gonna get another Frankie when the reproduction dolls come out, and then maybe I could put that Frankie in like a fashion pack. And the most recent Monster High doll I got was Scarier Reef Kala Mary, and I love her. I think she's so cool. I got her for Valentine's Day this year. And she also came new in box, but her box was kind of damaged. But I didn't care because I was so happy to finally have her. And I really like her forearms. Like, I feel like it could be useful for a bunch of different things. And also, like, she has, like, this chest articulation. So that's really cool, too. And also her, ten like, tentacles, I think they're called. Oh, my gosh. So cool. And you can like move them and you can like pose them in like different ways. You can pose them like any way you want pretty much. I like to pose them like kind of standing up. But that's just me. Like you could do whatever you want with them. Like these tentacles have like more articulation than the Monster High 2016 reboot dolls. Ew. And also um, this tail part like is really cool because it glows in the dark. It's so cool. She's a really cool doll. I mean, Scarier Reef isn't like my favorite line or movie, but like the Call of Mary is like one of the best great Scarier Reef dolls, if not probably the best. I don't know why I didn't get her before. Like, I wish I'd appreciated her more before. <laughs> Well guys, I've now shown you pretty much every Monster High doll in my collection now. And you know, there are I know there are some Monster High dolls from my past that I wish I still have because then I would have even more. And you know, I wish I could just like go back in time and get them back and like take better care of them. Like I wish I had a time machine. Like I just want them back. And hopefully I do get some of the dolls that I used to have back again, like, that would be great. Thanks for watching this, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And also, after this video, I want to do a Q&A, so comment down below any questions you have about dolls, or maybe even something about myself. So, bye!